As per request, I'm going to cover this question. Of course, look at the details at the beginning. Um, this uh, question in particular, you need to be very careful about the wording. <clears throat> so we're given um, dental expenses, okay? And that's my random variable X. It's a continuous random variable. And they tell me that it's distributed uniformly, which means this is my density function. The density function is just one over the length of the interval for which it's defined, so 1200 minus 200. Um, and this is where you really wanna be careful of the wording here. Uh, y is the yearly benefit uh, of the supplemental plan. So take a look at the question again. Um, there's sort of a primary plan, uh, plan that pays expenses, okay, uh, for the first up to 400, up to 400, so that covers the dental expense up to 400. Then we have a supplementary plan that kicks in after that. And they tell me basically that the supplementary uh, plan uh, kicks in for the dental expenses in, ex in excess of 400, but only up to 500. So let me write that down uh, mathematically. Okay, this tells me um, that according to the scenario given, okay, um, the supplemental plan, the benefit paid by that, is equal to, okay, it's nothing when the dental expenses are between 200 and 400. Right, these are my dental expenses. The supplementary plan doesn't kick in until after 400. So again, <clears throat> it's zero uh, if 200 is less than x is less than 400, okay? Then uh, after the first 400 expenses, the supplementary plan kicks in, but it only pays expenses in excess. So it will pay the expenses x in excess of 400. Okay, and that's for, that's for 400. Uh, and then it also says up to 500, right? Man, man oh man, I hate running out of room. So, <clears throat> let me try that again. Up to 500 only pays up to 500 and actually I just messed that up because the payment is up to 500 500 you want to think to yourself when is this payment 500 this payment is 500 if the expenses go up to what 900 this is actually 900 right think about that for a second okay they're not paying the maximum payment of the supplementary plan is 500 how do I get 500 if x is 900 900 minus 400 is 500 all right that looks good and then anything after that, we'll only pay 500. So if you have expenses that exceed 900, we're not gonna pay more than 500. So 900 up to 1200. Uh, Cause the expenses, well, the dental plan, dental expenses in general don't exceed 1200. We're looking to compute the variance <coughs> of Y of the supplementary benefit. I'm just gonna use the definition. So definition of variance is the second moment minus the first moment squared. Okay, so let's compute the first moment first. All right, let me give myself a little more room. Now hopefully you're familiar with this enough that you can actually just bust out these computations quite quickly. Okay, uniform distribution is one of the easier ones to integrate. All right, so what do we got? For expected value of y, Okay, it's zero from 200 to 400. It finally kicks in once I get to 400. So this is going to be the integral uh, from 400 to 900, okay, of x minus 400 divided by 1,000, right? Because uh, that's my PDF, my PDF. And then I need to add that to um, what happens when the expenses exceed 900? So when they exceed 900, I'm gonna pay 500. So I'm going to go from uh, 900 uh, to 1200, okay? Of uh, 500 divided by 1000. Pretty easy computation, actually. Um, don't even, just leave this quantity as it is, actually. Okay, you need to get used to this sort of thing. If I wanna integrate x minus 400, um, just 
just integrate it. Just don't even break this up. Don't break it up whatsoever. This is equal to, okay, this is 1 over 2,000 times x minus 400 squared. Okay, I mean, is this right? Yeah, take the derivative of this, and I get the integrand back. Going from 400 to 900. You need to be so familiar with these problems that you just, you can do this really easily, okay? Um, plus, now this 500 over 1,000 is a half, and I'm integrating one, which means I just take the length of the integral, so this is equal to a half times 300. 1,200 minus 900 is 300. Five that. We're pretty much there. And the nice thing about integrating it this way is when I plug in 400, I get zero. So this is equal to 500 squared over 2,000 plus 150. And what you should get here, I believe, is 275. So there's the expected value. And yeah, you get 275. And now let me you compute the second moment. Um, I'm going to do this even qu uh, quicker, actually. If I was doing this on an exam or something, I wouldn't even do this much. I'd actually jump right to here. So let me show you what I'm going to do for the second moment. The second moment's very similar to that of the first moment, especially for uniform distribution. So um, I'm just going to change this to a square. So now this is equal to, again, I'm not even going to set up the integral. I'm just going to basically <laughs> write what I have. You need to be that familiar with this. You need to be that efficient with this. Uh, for the first part, this is going to be uh, uh, 1 over 3,000 times x minus 400 to the what? To the cube. Going from uh, 400 to 900 plus, okay, now I need to square this. Okay, so this is 500 squared over 1,000 times the length of my integral, which is 300. Okay, let's just simplify this and we're done. Pretty much there. This is equal to, again, when I plug in 400, I get zero. So this just gives me, when I plug in 900, uh, which is 500 cubed. So this is 500 cubed over 3,000 plus 500 squared over 1,000. That looks good. Times 300. And this should give you... Uh, something, I didn't write it down. This is some number, some number. Gives you something, but once you find this number, I mean, uh, just compute the variance. Okay, so the variance of y is equal to uh, the second moment minus the first moment squared. And what you should get here, I did all the computations basically, you should get a 410 Four, two. So again, I think when it comes to the integration, you're probably fine with that. Um, the main part, I think, is the setup. So again, you need to uh, be quite careful with the wording here. It comes down to the fact that they had a primary dental benefit and they had a supplementary uh, dental benefit. Tell me what you think. Um, like the video and please subscribe.